All right, we're gonna do my earth signs next. All right, so my Taurus Virgo Capricorns, this is going to be your weekly for the week of September 8th because technically Sunday is the beginning of the week. So I'm gonna start really kind of channeling the energy for even just today because this is what I always post it anyway. So for the week of September 8th, this is your collective reading. Remember guys, this is collective. So if you want something more personal, you can definitely book with me. Don't forget a couple reminders that today is the last day to sign up for the TikTok pre-recorded reading special. Take advantage, right? If you want to pre-book them, you can just take advantage of the price. And don't forget that today is the absolute day for moon rituals as well as the divine feminine and the twin flame class as well. It's the last day to sign up for those. Um, and then also the money mindset class that's coming next week. We're going to be diving into anybody that may have some money blockages in regards to that. So we are going to get started. I have my Hocus Pocus deck here. So we're going to kind of, you know, have some fun this month with the Hocus Pocus deck. But we're going to start with a journal message. Um, actually, I just want to clear in between every element. There we go. I was like, I can't forget to clear between each element. So for my earth signs, my Taurus Virgo Capricorns, what journal message do they need to hear this week? What journal message do they need to hear this week? Okay. What does abundance look, mean, and feel like to you? Oh my gosh, that is fucking hysterical. Because you know what? A lot of my earth signs always think that money is what kind of <sighs> determines like how happy you are. You know, like money determines happiness or like money, you know, uh, makes you happy. And it doesn't, you know, because abundance can look very different for everybody, right? Like some people feel rich when they have the love of someone or they have the love of their family and that's enough to get them through, you know, like their life. Some people, it's money. Some people... It could be just being by themselves. You know what I mean? Like everybody has a different image and view of abundance and what it feels like and what it means to you. So some of you definitely need to look into that because I've always said this to you guys. A lot of you always think about money as like, oh my gosh, I don't have enough. I got to get this. I got to And that's really horrible, which is why I'm doing the money mindset class. All right. For those of you that feel that way and you always feel like you have to survive when it comes to money, you're chasing money. You got to do this. You got to do that that's why it's always so difficult to make the money you understand what i'm saying so some of you definitely need that money mindset class i would definitely sign up for it um i have information about it you know on my page so please go and check that out and then when i think of my truth i think of what is your your truth some of you don't know how to dive in to find that truth you know a lot of my earth signs experience that because i feel like a lot of my earth signs when i channel your guys's energy I always definitely feel like you guys are not really ever 100% really being your true self because you feel like maybe people won't accept it or people might turn away from you if you show them, you know, like really who you are. And that's not the case, my earth signs, you know, you guys have really great energy, but you have to allow people in. And I do get it. I know a lot of you have an issue when it comes to trust and, you know, some of you have had your heart broken. And so then that's why kind of like there's all this doubt and like trust issues that kind of happen. But we have it's 2024 you know for for those of you that may be in your 30s or 40s like we're not getting any younger you know what i'm saying like we have to learn to grow evolve and really heal so that as the years go on you can become happier and happier and not miserable do you know what i'm saying i hope that makes sense so let's see what else for my first signs this week what else look at this as I'm literally saying about getting your heart broken and all this stuff, some of you really truly have the love of someone here, but you don't see it. Like, you don't see it. And, I, and I'm dead ass. You know what I mean? Like, I'm dead ass. Like, look, some of you really have somebody here. It is a beautiful fucking fall day, by the way. I know I got ADD, okay? So don't mind me, but I just had to say that because I'm sitting here in my room and I just feel the fucking breeze of a beautiful fall day. Like, it is beautiful. And this is what I mean about always admiring and appreciating and being grateful for even just the smallest thing within a day maybe you could have a really fucked up day but that doesn't mean the whole day has to be remembered as being fucked up do you know what i'm saying it just try to find something so beautiful like right now you know i got a lot of shit i gotta do i gotta make a cake i got a lot of shit i gotta do but you know what i'm taking the time out to do these collectives i'm getting an energy like i feel great and the breeze feels so beautiful it's just so nice to be in the fall weather. You know, please, my earth signs, try to find something within each day to make yourself a little happy and grateful, okay? But anyways, back to the lovers. So you guys literally have the love of someone here or you possibly really, truly love somebody and it's like, 
you almost feel like you can't be with that person or you feel like you can't really tell that person how you feel. And it's like time is ticking. Some of you are going to really miss out on an opportunity with someone that really you could have an amazing connection with. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, it just... Oh, it just makes me really sad for you guys because a lot of you guys, I know how you guys are. And it's like a lot of you guys are so fucking stubborn and not, you know, not willing to trust and put down your, your wall and drop your guard because of past things. And that's the problem. You stay stuck in the past and you don't try to heal enough where you can embrace trust again. You can love again. That's a problem that's a problem you know what i mean so it's just really sad you know what i mean like it's just it, it just breaks my heart for you because it's like as i'm looking at this card and then i'm kind of picking up on the vibe and the feeling like i could i could feel it you know like i'm just like god damn you know like i always kind of whenever i tap into that energy i'm just like earth signs why can't you just drop your fucking guard like just drop it fucking drop it like what the fuck anyways you have free will, so you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, but I'm just saying. Ugh. What else? Have fun again. Yep. Learn to love life again and try to enjoy life more by having fun. What did I literally just fucking say? What did I literally just fucking say? You see what I'm talking about? This is why I use my cards as just a tool to confirm what I'm channeling. For those of you that are curious about that, you know? Because I know some of you are always like, damn, she just fucking said that. And I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But some of you are always so focused on work and I got to do this and I got to do that. And then it's like you, you don't want to wake up one day and then realize that you've missed so much fucking time worried about how you're going to survive life that you haven't lived it. So if you haven't lived it, what the fuck are you trying to survive? You know what I mean? Like some of you have some trauma that needs to heal in order to be able to really truly do this, which is have fun, love and, you know, love again, have fun again and just enjoy life more. Oh, my earth signs. I feel for y'all. I really do. What else? Anything else for my earth signs? No. Okay. So just not for the... <laughs> Apparently, your guys' message is real simple. Because some of the other signs had a bunch of shit fall out. But apparently, it's a straight, simple message for y'all. We're going to also look into money blockages that could be affecting you guys. Like I said, a lot of you also need the money mindset class. So I definitely, I wouldn't miss out because in the class, I'm going to individually check in on everybody's individual money blocks. All right. This is collective, but in the money mindset class, we're going to do it individually. All right. So let's go Capricorn, my earth signs, what money blockages are existing for my earth signs. Look how fucking procrastination... Hold on one second, because this is fucking hysterical. Okay. Look how fucking hysterical. Procrastination, okay, and then small dreams, okay? It says, not dreaming big enough that can create a high-impact, meaningful life. Do you see what I'm talking about? Where you guys are always just feeling surviving, but not really truly living life? That's a bad energy, I'm telling you. It says there's nothing to be ashamed of to have small dreams, but it is what you truly, but is it what you truly want? Exactly. To reach higher heights, shift your mindset and dream a bit bigger. You are capable of so much more. Exactly what I fucking said. You see, I can't. And then procrastination. Didn't I just say the clock is ticking? It's about to be 2024. Do you want to wake up like I said one day and then just realize all this fucking time has passed by and all you've done is try to fucking survive? Exactly. It says prioritizing short-term relief results in negative consequences. It says increase productivity. Look at your excuses and be honest about the things you put off to start making changes and open more doors to opportunities. These are the money blockages. Now, mind you, when I say money blocks, guys, everybody always automatically thinks like money, physical, tangible stuff. I don't just mean money. I mean blessings, amazing things that want to come into your life. It's not just about money. It's about blessings, right? Maybe an opportunity, maybe a good person, like a person that's supposed to come in to kind of help you along with it, right? That's what I mean, all right? So listen, I hope that was helpful. That is what I have for you guys. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you next week.